And Lemmy goes for the... He shoves. So, 500 by Limitless, we've seen that in almost all of his videos, or in all of the footage we've looked at. And Phyllis Mies goes for a 2k 3-bet. They are quite deep, but Phyllis Mies doesn't want to build the pot out of position too much. And he checks on the 9-7-5 flop, which makes a lot of sense, right? Because Limitless probably has hands like 8-6, 5-7... 9 7, 5 7, 9, maybe even 9 5. You know, he's going to have some over pairs and flush draws and open enders. So, he, uh, you know, there's a lot to worry about for Phil as me. So, he decides to check, which I like. So, Limitless bets third pot here. He's saying, I, I'm th value betting thinly. I'm trying to get some value from your over, like from your over cards, basically, maybe from your flush draws. Phil as me does call. Turn is a three, which doesn't change a whole lot. I mean, Limitless could have like merged bet to flop with pocket threes, I suppose. I, he definitely could improve at six four suited, but other than that, not much going on. So I expect a much bigger bet this time if he does indeed bet. But he checks behind. So he's basically saying like, hey, I made a thin, thin value bet, like pocket eight or eight seven, or maybe, you know, even like, 5-6, that type of stuff. Maybe he checked back as strong as a hand like pocket 10s. Maybe he trapped the nuts, right? Like maybe he took a hand like 8-6 and he's like, fuck it, RNG came out low, let me check behind and raise the river. Definitely possible. He could have also just bet a flush draw or a straight draw and given up. Now, the jack does improve the limitless sometimes. You know, he can have hands like jack 10, jack 8. Occasionally he could have 10-8, but you know, 10-8 is only suited and then, you know, sometimes he'll take this line. So the 10-8 suited uh, combination is not that relevant. And now what does the Phyllis Mies do? He checks. So Phyllis Mies is saying he's got like, you know, a pretty good hand, but not a one good enough to bet. Whoa, Phyllis Mies goes for the raise here. So he's basically saying like, hey, this Jack really improved me as in I check all Jacks and now I check raised or I just have some kind of one or two pair plus hand that I'm check raising. I believe that you've got a lot of hands like for instance, jack eight or like nine eight and you're making a thin value bet and i'm gonna punish you so this is a really sweet creative play and you know this is definitely not something limitless likes to see because you know next time he value bets nine eight he has to worry about getting check raised right so yeah sweet play by uh by phyllis Mies, assuming the hand makes sense of course and what does the limitless do eventually he shoves a land wow so this is very weird, right? Because like, what the hell is this guy representing? Jack nine suited, you know, that's two combinations. But I mean, would he even shove over the check raise given that Phil Smith can have jacks and nines and maybe he just has a nine, like eight, six or six, four. So does he even shove that? Maybe. So Jack nine, perhaps 10, eight suited, which is unlikely, or he checked back the nuts on the turn. So Limitless is basically saying that he's either improved to Jack-9 or he played his value hand or draw in a very, very funny way. So sometimes he should, right? Because that means that maybe Phyllis Mies pays you off. But he's representing a very narrow range here. Let's see what he has. And Phyllis Mies eventually makes the call. <laughs> All right, so... Phyllis Mies has queens, which is actually a pretty cool play. I mean, he checked the flop of he checked the flop deep stack, knowing that he's gonna be in trouble sometimes. And yeah, I think that's pretty cool. I mean, just check calls. You could definitely end up you could definitely end up just check raising, but deep stack, you know, with queens, it it's kind of a tricky spot. So I like to check call. Obviously, he goes check check on the river, so you get a check check on the turn, so he doesn't get to bet. And on the river, I mean, it's actually a really cool play to check raise because Phyllis Mies knows it's unlikely he's behind. Limitless has a decent amount of value hands, and maybe he bets them and he gets a check raise. So even though he's only got one pair, it's quite unlikely that he's behind. So I actually really like this check raise. Betting is standard, but check raising is quite cool. So I like it. And then once he gets shoved on, he's probably thinking the same that I was thinking. Like, what the hell is Limitless repping, right? Is he, did he really take 8-6 and check behind the turn? Did he really shove jack-9, right? Does he really check back 10-8? Yeah, sometimes, but often enough. Whereas it's obviously very easy for Limitless to over bluff, right? If Limitless starts bluffing with hands like 9-8 or 10-9 or, you know, something like that. 
it's really easy for him to overbluff, let alone with hands like Queen-10 or, you know, Ace-10 or King-10. So, yeah. I like Lim uh, Phyllis Mises' play a lot. I think I'll give him... I'll give him a 10 out of 10. That's uh, that's how we start these sessions nowadays. We, we'll give Phyllis Mises a 10 out of 10. I thought it was a very creative and very smart play. He then realized that Limitless could be overbluffing, right? And I mean, he called 250 big blinds with one pair with no blockers to the nut. So that's a pretty impressive call. But, you know, he just figured that something was up, right? Something just doesn't make sense. You know, maybe Limitless is a bit out of line. Maybe he's bored, right? Maybe his girls have already gone home for the night and he's like, fuck this. He wants to make some money and Phyllis Mies caught him in the, caught him in the cookie jar, that's for sure. So I'll give him a 10. Limitless's play, uh, calling Queen Tempri is loose, but all right. And then, see, you know, stab in the flop. It's a bit loose, right? So he probably thinks that Phyllis Mies is not checking this flop too strong, even though he did. So, you know, low frequency, that's okay. On the turn, you don't improve whatsoever, so checking back is perfectly fine. And on the river, yes, you blo block 10-8, which is great, right? So, but at the same time, if you have hands like Queen-10 and King-10 and 10-9 and 9-8 to potentially bluff with and random, you know other straight blockers like 7-8 or 7-6. Maybe 7-6 you wouldn't really bet on the turn, on the river, but, you know, you can way overdo it because you're only representing a few, very few, like a very select amount of straights and trapped nuts. And if you take hands like Queen-10 and start bl uh, bluff shoving, you can be quite a f quite far off line. So, hell, maybe, you know, maybe Limitless thought I, I raise his hand like 10% of the time, the RNG turned out 96 and he's like, fuck it, I gotta go for it. Or maybe he thinks that Phyllis Mies is money scared, right? Limitless is used to playing these stakes. Phyllis Mies, on average, probably plays a little bit lower than uh, than Limitless does. So maybe he thinks, oh, I'm he's taking a shot. This knit is gonna fold uh, against me. So who knows what he's thinking? I'll give him... I'll give him a 4 out of 10. Yeah. Sorry, Limitless. I, I, I am rooting for Limitless in this match, but I'll give him a 4. So good start for Phyllis Mies. Nice little 96k pot. What do you guys think about this one? It's a pretty interesting hand, right? So this one was probably earlier in the match because Phyllis Mies didn't have that big of a stack yet. Two K three bet once again. So it seems like he doesn't really change his size, uh, his three bet size, depending on stacks. And 4-5-3 is definitely a better flop for Limitless because Limitless is going to call all the low pocket pairs that make a set. Whereas Phyllis Mies wouldn't always 3-bet him, right? And Limitless will have ace-2 suited, which Phyllis Mies likely just often calls pre-flop and 6-7 six, six, at least they both will have. So Limitless is a little bit ahead on this flop. Obviously, Phyllis Mies does have hands like pocket jacks and queens, which Limitless doesn't because he would just 4-bet him. Phyllis Mies does check, makes sense. And again, Limitless goes for this slightly over third pot bet, attempting to get some thin value and protection with his hands. And it makes total sense that uh, Phyllis Mies' main play is check haul. Now, this six is obviously terrible for Phyllis Mies. He's going to have a, a distinct disadvantage when it comes to 6x. So Limitless is going to keep on betting quite wide and mergy. So yeah, as you see, since he's betting a little bit over a third of the pot, his range is still quite wide. And by this river, Limitless is probably value betting. He's definitely value betting a set or better. Perhaps he's value betting two pair or better. So I imagine Limitless also sometimes going all in here to leverage his six advantage. So he bets around 7.5 into 12, and Phyllis Mies calls with Ace-Deuce. Okay. All right, so Phyllis Mies does 3-bet Ace-Deuce suited, which sometimes is definitely the right play. And he recognized that this board is not very good for him, so he decided to check all. So really cool play, and he decides to check all down, right? On the 6, you don't really want to raise much, especially with this hand. And Phil Limitless, obviously, you know, he got, he got coolered. I like the fact that he triple barreled. His hand is still good enough to bet with. So I'll give Phyllis Mies a... I'll give him an 8.5 out of 10. I'll give Limitless a... I'll give him an 8.5 out of 10 as well. I think it's a pretty good play by both of them. So what do you guys think? Phyllis Mies also likes the 500 raise size on the button. Slightly bigger 3 by Limitless this time. And he gets called. 
So this board is, you know, pretty good for Phil Desmise. He's going to have a lot of pairs and draws here. But Limitless is pretty happy, you know, just playing his over pairs here on this board. And he actually decides to bet like 1.1x pot, which is pretty interesting. You know, he's basically saying, hey, I've got an over pair and I want to fast play it. You know, I kind of like this board right now, but there's a lot of, you know, turns and rivers I don't like. So let me just put in a lot of money right now. Phil's Meets does call. The king is um, not super relevant because I assume Limitless would probably check in like ace, king, or king, queen usually. So he'll, he'll improve sometimes, but not, not as often as you might think. If he were to bet full range, then obviously it would be a much better card for him. Phyllis Mies also doesn't improve on the king very often. You know, if he has ace, king, preflop, which I don't think he does, he would improve. And, you know, if he has hands like king, five of clubs, he would improve. So not super often. So now, because the SPR is a lot lower and the board is a bit more dry, Limitless decides to uh, slow down, and he bets a bit smaller, which I think is the correct sizing. And his 4 doesn't really change a whole lot. I guess 5-3 of clubs gets there, maybe like King-4 of clubs gets there. Pocket 4s would be pretty ambitious to call down with, so it doesn't change a whole lot. So let's see what happens. Limitless shoves all in for around 110 big blinds. And gets called. Okay. Um, all right. So Phyllis Mies called six for suited to a three bet. Seems fine. He called a flop, which is okay. On the turn, it gets a little bit quite dicey though, because I mean, he called with a six with nothing else, so he had to put Limitless on a on let's say a hand like Jack ten of Spades, etc. So that's quite loose. And obviously on the river, he beats a lot of bluffs. He beats a lot of value bets. So. Yeah, he obviously has to call. I'll give him a 7 out of 10. I think that turn call is quite loose. And, on, and Limitless, obviously, through the preflop. Bet flop is standard. And then he keeps on betting turn to river. So he basically thinks that um, Philismis doesn't have that many great hands. So this is really thin. Because Philismis can have 9s. He can have 6s. He can have deuces. He can have a king. He can have an occasional, like, you know, 6-4 or something like that. He can have some hands, like, you know... Some King for us, clubs, that type of stuff. So, I, th I mean, it's quite thin. He basically is saying that Philismis is calling down very, very light and that he doesn't really have many King X. So, I'll give a Limitless an 8 out of 10. Last time we saw him value bet quite thinly as well in some of these spots. So, it's quite thin, it's ambitious, but I don't hate it by any means. So, pretty fun hand. 500 by Philismis and Limitless, otherwise known as E Limitless. Makes it 2160 to go, so he wants a little bit more juice out of out of uh, Phyllis Mies. And he bets quarter pot on a7-6, which is obviously a good board for Phil for Limitless, given that he three bets aces every single time, and Phyllis Mies will never just call at this stack depth. At the same time, Phyllis Mies will have ace, uh, he will have a6 suited, a7 suited, 6-7 six, suited, 6-7s. Good hands like ace queen, eight nine suited as a good draw. So he will have a, he will have quite a few good hands. So Limitless can go he cannot go crazy, though he can be aggressive. He decides to bet quarter pot, which is a fine sizing. And eventually makes the call. Turns an eight, which is obviously a good card for Phyllis Mies because he can have maybe nine five, but definitely five, four, ten nine, ace eight, seven eight, six eight, so Limitless has to be careful on a card like this. So it goes, it will go check, check a lot. Phyllis Mies has a lot of medium strength hand, hands he just wants to slow down with. And the deuce, once again, doesn't change a whole lot. I guess pocket deuces would call a quarter pot bet on the flop. Ace to suit it would, you know, call the flop check back turn very often. But other than that, it doesn't change a whole lot. And so Limitless bets a one-third of the pot. He's saying, you know, I've got a hand like ace-10, for instance, a hand that doesn't want to bet big, but doesn't want to, well, it doesn't, you know, want to check either. It's a pretty good hand. Maybe he's even value betting a hand like kings or queens or jacks. So he's saying he's got a decent value bet. And now Limitless, or like Phyllis Mies goes for the big raise. So this is kind of confusing, right? He's basically saying that he checked back to turn with a really good hand like eight six or ace eight or something like that, or that the deuce helped him. So he would have to have specifically 
uh, well, you know, one or two combinations of ace deuce or exactly deuces. So it's a, uh, you know, it's kind of a confusing race, right? Let's see what uh, Limitless does. And Lemmy goes for the, he shoves. So he's saying, hey, I trapped you here. I trapped you with my third pot bet. I've got a minimum of like ace eight, but probably more like aces, you know, I checked in like 10, nine or nine, five or five, four on the, on the turn. And now, you know, I, I was hoping you would raise so I could shove all in on you. And Phil is means probably thinking, well, this limitless guy just keeps on bluffing in huge spots, right? Like what, what the fuck does he have? Is he bluffing with ace nine? Is he bluffing with eight, nine? Right? Is he bluffing with just some random hand like, you know, Queen 10 suited? Let's see. And eventually, Phyllis Mays makes the call for 32k. Wow. So, Limitless was trapping him, right? He see about the flop with aces. That also, it makes sense that he bets small because he knows he's kind of got his hand locked up. And on the turn, he checked. He's thinking, well, I block an ace that's going to call me. I block two aces, in fact. And I don't mind if Phyllis Mees turns in like pocket fives or six five into a bluff. Phyllis Mees didn't fall for it and just checked behind and obviously hit the worst river in the deck for him. And he obviously raised, you know, he's thinking, well, I want to raise quite large and block all of Limitless's calling range. And Limitless thought, well, I don't think, I think it's more likely he calls me with ace deuces and deuces and whatever, six eight, ace eight, than for him to call me with a straight. So I'm just going to shove and, you know, he have to get paid the maximum amount. So it's a pretty loose shove, but I think it's correct. Especially these two who've been playing very, very loose. I think it makes a lot of sense for him to make this thin value shove. So I'll give Limitless a nine out of 10. I'll give Phil is Mies. I'll give him an eight and a half out of 10. So I obviously can't blame him for calling. We've seen Limitless make some pretty, uh, uh, you know, questionable plays a few times, at least very creative plays. So I can't blame Phil is Mies for, uh, I can't blame him for calling this shove because he knows that Limitless is repping very little, right? He's representing maybe aces sometimes and some random straight or set. So yeah, fun hand. This would be pretty boring hand, but Phyllis me, uh, but Limitless does call. And we see an ace 10 deuce flop, which is obviously great for Phyllis me because he's gonna have aces and tens 100%, ace 10 suited. Limitless would four, four but aces always and tens probably quite often. So we see that Phyllis Mies has worked on his game quite a bit because, you know, he's played every hand so, so far way differently than he would have a few years ago. So he's definitely improved his game quite a bit, which is a positive sign for him. He checks the flop. So what he checks, he's saying he's usually got some kind of showdown value. Maybe he's got aces and he's trapping. He's got maybe like ace five suited or a seven suited or like kings or something. Maybe he's got nothing. He's got like five, seven of hearts and he just gives up, right? Limitless bets 40% pot. I guess, yeah, I guess he's betting like, you know, somewhat mergy here. Not super, super depolarized, right? Because he knows it's a, it's a good board for Phyllis Mies. This ace is, of course, a card that slows things down quite a bit. Maybe Limitless bets in like King 10 of Diamonds or in like 4-5 of Diamonds and turns a flush draw. But other than that, <laughs> Phyllis Mies is very happy about this hand because it's less likely that Limitless has an ace now or ace 10, etc., and it's just more likely he had a hand like, you know, Queen 9 was bluffing, or a Queen Jack, or 4-5, or, or an underpair. And they haven't improved. So, Phyllis Mies checks again. I wouldn't hate seeing a very small donk on the turn, but checking is definitely the standard play. And Limitless bet's not too large, which makes sense on the, on the pairing turn. And with about what about pot behind, I imagine that Limitless is only sizing here is going to be all in. I mean, he's representing an ace or better here. I guess maybe he was bluffing with a deuce occasionally and shoves that, but he's usually, I mean, maybe he shoves with pocket hands if he even has it, but 90 plus percent of his value range will include an ace here. And Limitless, Limitless does shove. So he's saying, hey, I've got an ace. And obviously there's a lot of them, right? Um, okay, so, okay, so Phyllis Mies check kings on the flop after three betting. You know, if you're going to check, kings is a fine hand to do it with. Easy call on the flop. On the turn, he's thinking, well, I unblock either flush draw. So he does have kings, which don't block ace-king well, because 
Limitless would always farm at that hand, right? So Queens obviously would do a better job of at least blocking Ace Queen. So, but I can't blame him for calling. It's an aggressive player. And on the river, he thinks, well, I, again, I unblock ever, either flush draw, I unblock queen jack, four, five, four, three. I'm going to call. So his call is loose, but it's definitely not crazy. I'll give him an eight and a half out of 10. Limitless called a three bed with fives, which is obviously fine. And on the flop, he wants to bluff with low pairs at a, you know, at a low frequency. On the turn, he decided to bet, thinking, well, on a club or a diamond, I can bluff. And on the river, he decided to shove. Which is quite, you know, which is quite loose because both flush draws myth missed, all the gut shots missed. Uh, Phyllis Mies could have hands like, for instance, King Queen of Clubs or King Queen of Diamonds that, that he's ahead of. So um, it's not the greatest river shove, I would say. I'll give Limitless. I'll give him a 6 out of 10. Yeah, it's quite aggressive, right? So is he going to win a showdown a lot? No, but is this, a, this end is pretty ambitious to bluff with. So yeah, it's a, it's a fine play, but it's a little bit aggressive. Now, we've seen a lot of aggressive plays by Limitless, so maybe maybe he just got Phyllis Mies to fold the other 900 times, and Phyllis Mies is just too tight, right? And he happened to get caught this time. So that's definitely possible. So it doesn't mean that this is a bad play. In theory, it probably wouldn't make a ton of sense. But if he thinks that Phyllis Mies is easy to run over, which I don't think is true, then it's a good play. So nice hand to both guys.